For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or become an official student at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. <clears throat> All right, guys, now we're going to do these two problems that say express the moment of the couple acting on the piping Cartesian vector form. And what is the magnitude of the couple moment, assuming that the force is 125. So basically, we have this point A and this point B that we need to find. So let's find those two points. So I have A and I have B and I need to find them. Now, A has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The X component is 0.6 meters. The Y component is uh, negative 0.15 meters. And the C component is in the XY plane, so it's zero. For B, we have an X component, a Y component, and a C component. The X component is 0.8 meters. The Y component is 0.15 meters. And the C component is zero meters. So now you can write the um, Cartesian vector form, which is 0.6 in the i minus 0.15 in the j. Sorry about that. Let me erase that. Minus 0.15 in the j. So b is equal to 0.8 in the i plus 0.15 in the j. So now you need to find the vector that goes from A to B. And that is given by subtracting A from B. And that gives you 0.2 in the i plus 0.3 in the j. Now that you have the vector that goes from A to B and you have the vector of the force the force vector is given by going up 125 in the k. So with these two vectors, you can find the moment that the couple force is creating. And that is equal to the cross product of A, B, cross F. So we build our matrix. And we got I, J, K. For A, B, we got 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0. And for F, we got 0, 0, and 125. So you rewrite the first and second column. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0, 0. You do your positive diagonals. So the first one is 0 0.3 times 125 times i, that's 37.5i. Second one is 0, third one is 0, and you do your negative diagonals, which is negative, negative, negative. The first one's 0, the second one's 0, and the third one is negative 125 times 0 0.2 times j, which gives you negative 25j. And the unit for this is Newton meters because I have the distances in meters and the force is in newtons. So this is the Cartesian vector form of the moment created by the couple moment. Now they're asking you also for the magnitude. The magnitude is easy to find. All you gotta do is 37.5 square plus 25 square and all of that square rooted and that will give you that the magnitude is equal to 45.07 newton meters so that's it for the first part for the second part they're asking you if the moment acting on the pipe has a magnitude of 300 newton meters in other words they already give you this then what is the magnitude of f well, that's very easy to find, actually, because you know that the 
moment of f is also equal to the force times the magnitude of AB. Now you know that the magnitude of AB is 0.2 square plus 0.3 square, all that square rooted, and that equals to 0.36. So f times 0.36 is equal to the moment which is given, 300 newton meters. So you solve for f and you're going to get that f is equal to 833 newtons. 833 newtons is the final answer for this one and the magnitude and Cartesian vector form for the magnitude of the couple moment is the final answer for this one.